All right, hi guys. Welcome to another episode of Catching Chemistry. Uh, I'm gonna do the, today I'm gonna do the rainbow milk activity demo. Now, I'm gonna do the demo and I'm gonna try a few different things as well to see which one works the best. You only need to use one kind of milk, one temperature. I'm also gonna do some of the optional stuff so, you, so if you don't have those materials, you can see um, what happens when you use those materials. All right, so first, the materials that you do need is you need a bowl to put milk in. I've got a few extras here. You, you only really need one. Um, I've got some, so I don't have to clean them out. Uh, you also need uh, toothpicks or cotton swabs, something like that. Uh, you need dish soap, liquid dish soap and you need milk. Now, in the comment section, I think I said, I think that whole milk works the best. I'm gonna test that out in the demo and see. I've got whole milk, I've got fat-free, I've got two different kinds. And I also mentioned that uh, I believe it works better at room temperature, so I'm gonna test that as well. These two have been sitting in the fridge. I have two glasses, one of each, that have been sitting out and that are, um, are, that are now room temperature. So you also need food coloring, okay? And I think that's it in terms of things you need, you have to have to do this uh, minimally to do this. Now, other stuff that uh, is optional that you can use, uh, I have isopropyl alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, uh, oil, any kind of oil. I've got vegetable oil you could use olive oil, any kind of oil or something like that. Uh, I also have um, some small Dixie cups just to pour these substances into to make it easier. Okay. I have a couple of pipettes. If you have something like this for some of the optional things, that works good, like an eyedrop or something. If you don't, it's fine. You can use, uh, you can use anything, like even like a little spoon or something to pour stuff in or drop stuff in or something like that. Okay. All right. All right, so we're back. So uh, I decided to start with the one that I think is gonna be the most successful and then we'll work our way from there. So in the bowl, I have about a half an inch or so of room temperature whole milk, okay? Um, now it says let it sit for a minute or two after you pour it. So I've had it sitting here for a little bit. Um, while you're letting it sit, you can kind of prepare the other stuff. Uh, all I did is I put um, I've got dish soap, you can see it's just a real small amount is all you really need. Dish soap, oil, vegetable oil, and um, rubbing alcohol. Now again, remember those, those are some optional, those are optional, the soap you need. All right. So then what you're supposed to do, once the milk is settled a little bit and you got your stuff here, uh, you'll need your toothpick so I have those ready as well, is take some food coloring and put two or three drops towards the center of the bowl, but not like dead center. So like, if you think about maybe, maybe the size of a quarter or something, towards the middle, that one's empty. Okay, and you can use different colors, you can use all the same, you can do whatever you want in terms of colors, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now, you take a toothpick the first time and you just touch it right to the middle, the center, and see what happens. Not really much of anything. Then, dip the toothpick into the soap, get, getting a small amount onto the toothpick, okay, kind of like a little bead or, or so, something like, something like that. Touch it to the middle and watch what happens. Okay, and you should be making observations and writing these in the data table, stuff like that. Um, you might want to even uh, video it yourself so you can kind of look back on it later and, and see if you don't want to write all the observations out at the same time that you're doing it. Okay, so it says, 
hold the toothpick in the center of the milk for a longer period of time and observe what happens. So I'm gonna get some more soap on it. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it, maybe here, hold it in the middle for a little while longer and see if anything else happens. Okay, you can see colors starting to come up, right? Okay. Now, it says, try adjusting variables, such as how much soap you use. I'm gonna get you a little closer so you can see. How long you put the toothpick in the milk, whether you hold it on the surface or touch it to the bottom, things like that. So you can just mess around with different stuff. You know, get more soap. You can try it on the edges. See if anything happens. Uh, you can try more or less, things like that. Okay, you can even add, if you want to, you can add uh, more food coloring again. See if anything happens. Okay. Okay. Now, it says once you have muddied the test to the point where it no longer reacts or the colors have run together and it's difficult to see new results, pour the mixture down a sink uh, drain and rinse out your bowl. Okay, so you can still see there's a little bit of stuff happening. You can just test stuff out. Uh, we're not getting really any reaction now on the surface, so it's kind of, it looks like that's kind of done. Okay, um, I'm going to actually, with this one, I'm going to show you some of the optional parts as well and what those look like. So one of the other things you can do is use a Q-tip. Now if you're using the Q-tip at the beginning, you can, you can use it normal or you might want to, um, you might want to even cut it off and use it like more like a toothpick. Uh, but if you're testing different things and you can see there's still getting some reactions in here. If you're testing different things, you can use the cotton swab end and you know hold it in there, hold it to the bottom, see if anything happens, stuff like that, okay? Um, all right, so I'm gonna use the oil. Now again, if you don't have a pipette, you can use a toothpick, a cotton swab, and, and dispense the oil and stuff that way too. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna dispense oil onto the surface. Just kind of put it around a little and see what happens. Okay. So, So I don't know if you guys can see this. Hold on, let me pop some of these ear bubbles a little bit here. Okay, um, let me see if I can zoom in. I'll get a little closer here. So I don't know if you can see, but there's um, sort of like little little bubbles of this is oil. The oil is not mixing. Okay, it's not mixing, and if it if we have uh, um, some on, like if you can kind of see, let me see if I can get even closer here to the green. It's a little hard to see because it's dark, but if um, if you can see in the green, it like when it sits in the food coloring, it doesn't even mix with the food coloring. It makes like a little clear bubble like sitting in the food coloring itself. Okay, um, let me see if I can, uh, I don't know, let me try some, drop a red food coloring maybe in here and see if I can drop some oil in it and so you guys can see it a little more easily. Oop, those are even, those have some air in them, that's why. Okay. Yeah, you can even see the oil running around on the surface a little too. So it's not mixing with the food coloring or the milk, any either of them. Okay. Now, the third thing I have is some rubbing alcohol. So let's watch and see what happens when I add that to the mix. This one's pretty cool. Kind of does this thing where it Almost looks like it's running a, like like alive or something. I don't know. It's it 
So kind of kind of neat. I don't even really know how to describe that other than like it sort of um, it almost looks like it's it's boiling, like it's moving the it's moving the colors around um, really fast. So and if you if we put I think it's still light enough that you can see some food coloring. If I put a few new drops in here, let's see. Okay. Yeah, so that would be some of the other, um, the other things. And then you can just play around with it. Try more stuff, try less stuff. Um, you know, make sure you're getting enough data for your, uh, for your data tables and your observations and stuff like that. Okay. All right. I am going to, we're going to try another one. We'll try the uh, next type of milk. All right. If you stayed with me this far, uh, everything from here on out is just going to be testing the different kinds of milk. So, um, this is all, you do not have to do this. If you want to play around with things, you can, if you stuck with me and you want to see what happens, when I test the other types of milks, then here we go. So this this is um, whole milk, but it's cold. Okay, so I'm gonna we're just gonna see, and I'm not really gonna talk through every little step because we've already done that with the other ones. We're just gonna kind of test and see what happens here. So I'm gonna add some food coloring. I don't really see any big noticeable difference in terms of the when the food coloring goes in oops when the food coloring goes in necessarily okay so I got the food coloring got my toothpick with some soap and here we go alright see that works fairly well. The other one might have been a little more reactive, but let's see. Yeah, a little more soap. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there you go. Now I find out what happens when I put a drop of soap in there. Apparently nothing. Oh wait, there we go. It's weird. Um, okay, so we did the soap. Let's try. Let's try some oil. I feel like it's very similar. Um, we might get the oil um, not like it's a little more obvious with the oil. I mean, you guys can see and determine for yourselves what you think. I'm going to add a little more food coloring in some spots here. Just so we can kind of watch. Okay. Uh, Alright. Now, I might go play some soap too here in a second. More soap, but um, let's try the uh, rubbing alcohol. Oh, that looks cool. So... It's almost like a like a bomb, like goes out and then it like sort of comes back to the center. So doing that with fresh milk actually to me looks more reactive than the other one did when we when we had used a lot of soap in it. So I don't think that has I don't know I don't think it has to do with how cold the milk is. Um, I think it has to do with how much soap we had put in. I could be wrong. You guys can test it and find out. Um, let's see. Add a little more soap and see if anything happens. At this point, I doubt it, but you never know. Or if we had soap on the bottom. Nope. Looks like it's pretty close to being done. All right, so that was cold whole milk. Um, Went pretty well. We got pretty much the same results. Uh, so you might actually not have to let it sit out uh, too long. All right. The third one, 
This is room temperature uh, fat-free milk. All right, so let's see what happens. Add in food coloring. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. It, I, it could just be uh, it could just be coincidence, but it does look like the um, food coloring is spreading a little more to me, maybe when it goes in than in the whole milk. All right, let's see with our soap and toothpick. Hmm. Okay. So, it still works pretty well. So maybe the type of milk doesn't matter as much as I thought. Um, color might have gone all the way out to the edge, too. So, i try a little more on some of the edges and see if anything happens. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Although you can see it's still, actually after I dropped, I think I dropped a piece of, a little bit of um, soap in there and I think it's still pushing away from that or whatever. So I'm gonna add a little more food coloring here and work with some of these other ones. Yeah, it's still moving. That's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's still moving away from those, so. Um, all right, let's try, let's try some oil. Yeah, it's still going. Hmm. Maybe fat-free works better. Maybe I just didn't. You know, the other ones I put quite a bit of soap in. This one I didn't really put too much in. Maybe that's why it's continuing on afterwards. So this was room temperature fat-free, but you're still getting some movement of the uh, food coloring there. All right, let's try. So this one actually. Somewhat interestingly, like you can really see the um, oil bubbles and how they're not uh, mixing in with the food coloring and stuff as well. All right, let's try some rubbing alcohol and see what we get. Yeah, we're getting that bomb of, you know, that kind of explosion out and sucking back in effect is. If I run it along the edges, it's interesting. Yeah, so it's pushing it's almost, almost like white there a little with the, I wonder, here, let's see if we add, let's see if we just add a lot of rubbing alcohol just to one spot, see what happens. Okay, basically similar to that. I thought maybe it would turn all white, but it, it kind of just mixes everything. All right, so this was the fat-free milk uh, at room temperature. All right, and the last one we're testing here is fat-free milk that is cold, pretty much right out of the refrigerator. So, get it poured. We're gonna put in the food coloring. I feel like on both the fat-free, we really are getting a larger spread on the food coloring that I put in. Um, it could be right, I have to go back and look, but I, I really feel like it is. All right, let's hit it with the soap.
All right, so we get, get pretty good movement. Um, very similar to the other one. Um, let's see. Here, I'm gonna write off the bat here. I know we've got some food coloring on the edges, but I'm gonna add some more food coloring here in the middle and see. Um, oh, well, that wasn't planned. So I kind of <laughs> mix some of the food coloring there. All right, let's. I'm going to take a Q-tip on this one with a decent amount of soap in it and see if that still affects it even after putting the first bit in. Hey, there you go. Okay, so uh, just barely touching it with the soap and then using a larger amount. Now, as you can see, as I'm holding it in there, you're still getting stuff up from the bottom. Probably because I didn't use a lot of soap at the at the beginning. Okay. All right, let's do. I'm guessing the oil will be very similar. Kind of all. It's interesting. You can see some of the oil sitting around on top. Okay. Um, oh, we're still getting movement here. Oh, this is the uh, rubbing alcohol. And we're getting similar movement with the rubbing alcohol too. So it looks like really like any kind of, uh, any, any kind of milk works with this. All right, well, go ahead and play around, have fun, and I'll talk to you guys later.